just kind of doing the homework early on and trying to look ahead. Uh, hey, Dylan. Hey, Hello, my name is Armin. Hey. <laughs> and um, and I'm coming from you. I'm coming to you from the perspective of a post and a development. Okay. So um, and as a low budget filmmaker, and one of my um, and one of my questions is. As a low as a low budget filmmaker, what do I need to know about the post uh, process for low budget films? Um, I think um, it's a good idea, no matter what your budget is, to kind of envision, or um, you know, or walk yourself through every step, you know, before you get there. Like uh, for post, a lot of people underestimate what it's going to cost, um, what the process is. You know, a lot of low budget productions. By the time you get to post, you're out of money, and you got to go back to the fundraising stage. So I think to kind of uh, have a plan, have a, uh, a workflow planned out, and a lot of that I think starts with the cinematographer, um, you know, to know what kind of camera you're going to shoot on, know where you're going to edit, um, how you're going to color it, um, you know, what your budget is, of course. So I think that um, just to kind of do the due diligence necessary in terms of um, budgeting everything that you're going to need, because um, at the end of the day, it, it it's about money, you know, and a lot of, of right now I work at a high-end post-production company and, you know, we do indie films, um, lower budget stuff, even though we do a lot of work for the major studios, but, um, you know, so a lot of times films will come in and, you know, people won't know what, um, what they even need necessarily. Right. So um, it's just kind of doing the homework early on and trying to look ahead, you know, and even beyond post-production, look ahead to distribution delivery you know who's gonna who's gonna see it and how's it gonna get out there right um, so yeah I highly encourage that in the, in the pre-production stage and um and what as a development person what I have to know about post like what should I know to to make your job easier you know I think um, the basics you know um, just know know the basics and um, at modern video film you know even we have a lot of technical staff and what we look for with, with any staff, basically, is basic knowledge of post-production, you know, um, editing. Um, some familiarity with Final Cut Pro is good. Um, everything from the digitizing to the basic editing to the exporting. Um, so I think um, from development stage to post, um, it kind of, uh, let me see, I'm stumbling here, but... Um, <laughs> um, Let's uh, let's keep going. I'll, I'll come back to that. <laughs> okay. And um, and because of the rise of digital technology ever since Avatar and, and a lot of yeah. other movies, is it is it possible to shoot something totally like green screen and no sets or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and Modern Video Film was actually the company, the post production company behind Avatar. Oh. We okay. did all of the um, digital intermediate work, all the integration of the visual effects. So um, I know that there was a ton of green screen on that. It definitely is possible. Um, that's a whole other world, and again, it becomes about money. Um, sure, it's a great idea to play around yourself. Um, you know, get a green screen, shoot it. You know, shoot some stuff in front of it. And but it really is. I what I've seen is it's a very kind of highly particular, almost science to really get it right and get it looking good. And would and, you say it's a uh, it's cheaper? As opposed to building like a real set, or is practical like a way to go? Well, yeah. I mean, on in the uh, in the real sets, your expenses are going to come in the sort of set building stage and the early pre-production and production stage. Whereas uh, in the green screen scenario, your your uh, expenses are going to come more in the post stage. But you know what I learned with Liberator, the the short that I co-produced, was that you can get high quality special effects and visual effects. Um, without paying so much money. And that's, I think, part of the uh, globalization of film is that we were able, we had visual effects artists in Italy doing shots. Right. And so um, it is possible to do it on the cheap and, you know, uh, but, but again, it comes back to just having the plan, having the budget so that there's no major surprises later. Right. Well, um, uh, well thank you for speaking with me. Thank you. I learned a lot. All right. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. You bet.